In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a checkbox inside of Salesforce. I'll go over how to create one, how to move it around on the page, and how to add permissions to that checkbox. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. If you need any help setting up your Salesforce system for your business, feel free to check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to add a checkbox to Salesforce. Now, in this example video, I'm going to be adding a checkbox to my leads page. However, this can be applied to any area inside of your Salesforce system. So I'm gonna go over to leads and just go to an example lead. And as you can see, this is all of the detailed information we have about this particular lead. Now, for whatever reason, I want to add a checkbox very similar or identical to the follow-up checkbox we currently have. And that is really, really easy to do. So we need to go to the cog in the top right-hand corner, go to setup, and this will take you to the back end of the Salesforce system, okay? What we then need to do is go to platform tools and underneath platform tools, just go to objects and fields and then to object manager. This is where we manage all of our different objects. In case you weren't familiar, each area of the system, such as accounts, contacts and opportunities is known as an object. So what we need to do is either search at the top right hand corner for leads or whichever area or object of the system you're adding a checkbox to, or you're more than welcome to scroll through the list. I'm just gonna go ahead and just search lead. And then as you can see, the lead object has appeared. Go ahead and click into that. And then we want to go to fields and relationships. Now, we obviously want to add a new field as we want to add a checkbox field. So go to the new button on the right hand side here, and this is where we can create a custom field. Now, if you are using Salesforce Lightning, you will be presented with this screen here. Now the back end of Salesforce has not caught up with the front end of Salesforce. So what we would need to do is open this in Salesforce Classic. It's not a problem at all. Just press the click here to open in Salesforce Classic. Now it'll bring you to this page here. And as you can see, new custom field. Now there are loads of different custom field options and I've done a video on all of these different options. But as we are adding a checkbox, we just need to select the checkbox option and then go ahead and press the next button in the bottom right hand corner. We then need to give our field a name. Now I'm just gonna call this example checkbox, but of course uh, call it whatever is applicable to uh, the, what the reason you are creating the checkbox. We also have a default value of checked and unchecked. So if you'd like the default value to be checked, in most cases, I think you'd have it as unchecked. We can add a description as well and some help text if we would like to. And then you've got auto add to custom report type. So add this field to existing custom report types that contain this entity. You can choose to select or unselect this as you wish. Once you're happy, just go ahead and press the next button and then you've got uh, a few different field level security options. Uh, you can select visible to all, you can unselect who this particular field is visible to, and you can make the field read only. So let's say for system administrators, of course, we want that to be visible, but for the standard user, we want it to be visible, but we want it to only be read only. So that means they cannot change, or in this instance, they cannot tick or untick. It's entirely up to you whether you wanna use this or not, and dependent on the size of your Salesforce system. Once you're happy with that, press the next button and then it, you can select the layout that this particular uh, checkbox is going to be added to. If you've got multiple layouts, uh, in most instances, you will just have one layout and you want to ensure that that is then selected. So lead layout has been selected. Once you're happy, go ahead and press the save button and congratulations, you have now created a new checkbox inside of Salesforce. If we head back to uh, the example and just press the refresh button, we should now hopefully see our example checkbox has been added. But there is one more thing that I wanna show you. You may not be happy with where this has been positioned on the page. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to move this particular checkbox to somewhere else. So in order to do this, we then wanna head back to our lead fields uh, page that where we've just been sent back to once we created the checkbox. Scroll to the left hand side, go to the build area, go to customize, and then we are looking for leads. So we should find the leads here at the very top. And then what we wanna do is just go to page layouts. 
And as you can see, we've got our lead layout. Go ahead and press the edit button. And this will show you all of the different fields on your leads, uh, your leads layout. As you can see, we've got the example checkbox that we just created. I can literally grab it, drag it and drop it to different areas of the layout page and the, whatever is suitable for you. And once you are happy, go ahead and press the save button up the top here. The layout will now be saved and you can go back to the lead page, press the refresh button. And as you can see, the example checkbox that we just created has been moved to a different area of the lead page. So hopefully this video has shown you how to create a checkbox and how to move it around on the page inside of Salesforce. I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you have now created a checkbox inside of Salesforce and you are familiar with how to move it around the page as well. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.